Okay, so this is a typical centripetal force problem. So we have a car with a mass of 450 kilograms, and it wishes to make a turn with a radius of 15 meters. What must be the magnitude of the centripetal force on the car if it makes the turn velocity 11 meters per second? Well, let's see here. Well, we know that the radius of this circle is 15 meters. So we're going to go ahead and label that. So here, 15 meters. And we know the velocity is 11 meters per second. So let's write down what we know. We know that the mass is 450 kilograms. The radius is indeed 15 meters. And the velocity is 11 meters per second. Now, remember that centripetal force is not its own force. It is, it is a net force. And that net force has to be equal to the mass times velocity squared divided by the radius. Now, since I'm looking for the magnitude of the centripetal force, I don't have to understand what force is providing that centripetal force. In this case, the car is most likely friction, but here we're only talking about the magnitude of the centripetal force and not the force that's actually providing it. So I have everything I need to solve this. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and plug and chug here. So, so I can say that the centripetal force equals the mass, which was 450, times the velocity squared over the radius, which was 15. So I'm going to go ahead and do that math very quick. 450 times 11 squared is 121 over 15. This equals 54,000. 450 over 15, and that gives you that the centripetal force required, well, the magnitude is 3,630 newtons. So let's examine this very quick. So the car wants to make a turn. And there has to be a centripetal force, an inward force, to make the car turn. And we want to know the magnitude. We're not asking about what force provides it, we're asking about the magnitude of that force. And the magnitude of the centripetal force is always the mass times the velocity squared divided by r. So every time you see centripetal force, you're going to use this equation. And I, I'm going to highlight that better though. My pen slipped there. use this equation. This is the same as Newton's second law. You've seen Newton's second law, F net equals ma. Well, the centripetal force, the net force is the centripetal force. And the centripetal acceleration, and the centripetal acceleration is v squared over r. So every time you talk about centripetal force, this blue equation here, this is the one that you want to use. And we'll need more examples of it. So stay tuned to the next video.